A kitchen is an integral part of any home. It not only has to look the part, but it needs to be practical for the family using it. Functionality is always key, and this kitchen has implemented this principle. You'll basically see that it's an extremely uncluttered space, it's very clean. Practically, you're also able to, to use the kitchen and to clean up after you've been working in it, cooking in it, is a very simple thing, because everything has its place. So everything is thought through. We are basically approach a design where we break up the kitchen into zones, and then obviously also the aesthetic, just playing with levels and textures, neutral colours, just gives it this interest. Lighting is no longer just purely functional. In today's modern age, it serves as an important feature in the kitchen. This space features a variety of lighting fixtures to create different moods and effects. So the kitchen, because it's something that you use from morning to night, lighting is a wonderful way of developing the aesthetic of the kitchen as the day goes on. So obviously during the morning and afternoon, you, you normally wouldn't have lights on, or you may just have towards the later afternoon, your main sort of ceiling lighting. But then as it gets sort of the, the sun starts setting, you can then switch on your feature lighting. And when you're using your drawers, it's always really nice having everything lit up so you can see exactly what's going on there. And then even underneath the islands in this kitchen, we also did feature lighting. When we work with our clients, we consider task lighting versus feature lighting. This space is all about modernism and the concealed appliances ensure that all the necessary features are incorporated without it looking cluttered. Starting on this side you've got your integrated refrigerator and freezer. So everything that you need fully integrated here but once the door is closed then it just looks like a piece of furniture. Moving on to then, uh, you've sort of got the two ovens. Even the appliances themselves are handleless, so on this one you just basically click that, it opens by itself. So it just keeps everything nice and sleek and clean, easy to use. And then even the internals of these, of these cabinets, we've also thought through, we've uh, integrated internal drawers here. You've got dividers, so for storing glasses, for storing crockery, everything has its place in the kitchen. Also, all the, all the drawers in the old kitchen have a non-slip rubber matting, so even if you have things like glasses and that, it just sort of is able to hold them nicely in the kitchen. And then finally, we've got a sort of traditional storage cabinet, but we use the dark charcoal finish inside, so it contrasts nicely with the doors, gives you that luxurious feel. And even the way we do the shelving, we use a nice thick 22 millimeter shelf, and we do a deep and shallow shelving, so that you're able to actually see exactly at each level what is inside the cupboard, and you're able to access it easily. When all the doors are closed, aesthetically it looks beautiful, but internally it's got so much functional space and storage that serves in the rest of the kitchen. Over the years, the role of the kitchen has changed. It's no longer just a room at the back of a house where only one person does the cooking. The kitchen has become the social hub of the household, and this has affected the design and layout of the cooking space. Kitchen Triangle was introduced back in the 40s, 50s, when it was mainly a closed room kitchen. It was the housewife preparing the meals by herself, and that was where you had a small area, and so she needed to be able to wash her dishes, prepare her food, get something out the fridge. It was very much one person working in a small space kitchen. Even if it was a large kitchen, it was one person. The, the work triangle is developed now to zone planning. So basically, we're now instead of saying you need to work within this framework, we say, no, you need to work within zones. So you'll have your consumable zone where you have your storage goods, your non-consumable zone like your crockery or glassware, your activity zone as well now, where TVs incorporated, so you have to have storage for DVDs and DVD players, or the children do their homework there, so you have to cater for that type of storage. And so now sort of every zone now needs to be designed where when you within that zone, you might have one person prepping and another person cooking now. And so you need to ensure that, that each zone has the necessary items catered for. In this kitchen, the design has incorporated an additional element of contrast in the countertops by combining wood and stone finishes. By keeping to a similar colour palette, the counters and cabinetry still blend seamlessly. Normally when it comes to the countertops, you'll contrast a darker countertop with a lighter cabinet below or a darker cabinet with a lighter countertop on top. And what we wanted to achieve here was basically give the two islands, and even you can see we incorporated a dark timber here. We wanted the island areas to sort of have a real monotone look, so just very subtle contrast. So where the doors were quite dark already, the timber was quite dark, we chose to then keep the island counter also quite dark, so that when we contrasted it with the tour units, it was quite a dramatic break. 
This kitchen has managed to merge functionality with aesthetics to create an ultra-modern, high-end space that is suitable for the whole family to use simultaneously.